everybody a very happy Thanksgiving and a very happy Hanukkah. And uh, I'd like to wish wish everybody uh, the best of the holidays. I mean, as we know, the holidays uh, include getting together with your parents and your grandparents and your sisters and your brothers and your cousins, your nieces, your nephews, and even your grandchildren. And uh, of course, uh, the media puts it out that everybody has somewhere to go on the holidays because it's America. Well, surprise, surprise, that is not always likely the case. There are uh, people like me who are on the autism spectrum that get misunderstood because we have meltdowns and we throw temper tantrums and we don't always read social cues like everybody else. We don't always pick things up the way that, uh, that these family members do. And so there are people in our families that they're so freaked out and they don't know what to do. So what they tend to do is they, they tend to push us away or run in the other direction. And uh, for those of you neurotypical families that have pushed away people on the autism spectrum in the past uh, uh, because they're afraid that, because you're afraid that, that that person is going to make a scene on your perfect day, or or that that person on the spectrum has a quote lack of empathy and we're going to go off for absolutely no reason. Uh, my advice to you: stop listening to the neurotypical experts and uh, and stereotypes of the media, and go pick up Dr. Temple Grandin's book, Thinking in Pictures. Now, Temple Grandin, I might add, has high functioning autism, and she has a PhD in animal science. And she has a uh, four-year degree in psychology, and she has, I believe, a master's in animal science as well. And she works with cattle. But anyway, Dr. Temple Grandin not only works with cattle, but she is also you know, one of the best es experts that you'll ever find. She goes around the country and. Uh, and she talks to different parents and different special education teachers and even informs other people on the spectrum how to handle things. So here's, here's what you guys are going to do that don't understand autism. Again, one, you're going to stop listening to, the, to those so-called experts that know what they're talking about. And two, you're going to pick up Dr. Temple Grandin's books and you're going to read everything you can about her. And you're also going to uh, go on YouTube.com, look up Temple Grandin, and listen to everything she has to say, and even uh, contact her and ask, how do, I, how do I handle this person? I feel like they're kind of a handful. So, um, and and another, uh, another word of advice for you, if you are living near somebody who was, was mildly autistic, and they're able to take care of themselves and live on their own, and you don't feel comfortable Live comfortable with having them over. At least give them a call on, on a holiday and tell them how tell them how you're doing and ask them how you're doing. Otherwise, that person is going to is going to feel uh, left out and they're going to spend the holidays all alone. So until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now. Bye.